Hello, my name is Bree Laughlin, and this is my five minutes of madness. My scholarly project is an analysis and framework to identify common data elements and propose standards for patient classification systems used in nursing, staffing, and electronic systems. So, a lot in the title. Uh, what am I trying to do? Well, I'm trying to create an analysis of three different publicly available systems. We'll talk about which three and why in a moment. And the purpose of that is to create recommendations. Where are the commonalities here? Uh, are there enough to create recommendations for standards? And then to take the tool that I used, make it publicly available, so that people can use it to explore additional tools and see if their workload acuity systems uh, have similar commonalities or if there are areas of further investigation that need to be considered for these recommendations. Let me go back to the introduction on the, the left side of my slide. So a patient acuity system or a patient classification system, these have been around since the 1800s, a very long time. And the reason is that there's been a long-standing need to understand how many nurses are needed to appropriately care for the patients that we have on hand. Now, fast forward many years later, and nearly every U.S. hospital system has adopted a patient classification system or an acuity system. However, there is no single system in use in the majority of organizations in, in any sense and there are no currently published standards for what needs to be included in a patient classification system. So earlier this year, I was able to participate in a work group for the American Nurses Association, where we had representatives from different electronic vendors. These weren't just EMRs. These were also vendors that had electronic solutions for staffing systems and patient classification systems. And we were tasked to create a tool that would help nursing leaders uh, select electronic solutions. And we were able to do that for a uh, staffing system. Uh, we're able to do uh, a basic recommendation kind of rubric for an RFP. But when it came to acuity systems, uh, that was a little bit difficult. And, and understanding that there are no standards and that there is no gold standard, especially really digging in my lit review, uh, made it clear as, as to why that was difficult. However, when you do look at these patient classification systems, they have a lot of commonalities as far as their data elements go. And the gap that I found in the literature review is that there was not that side-by-side -side analysis where we looked at the data elements and said, this percentage of the data elements across algorithms are common. And then to evaluate that which were uncommon across the elements and see how that affected the total score and how that would impact the nursing assignment. Because ultimately you're saying, okay, I have a score and a very high score would probably be a one-to-one -one nurse to patient ratio. A moderate score would be one to two, one to three on down the line. This is a tool that we're using to say how many patients should a, a particular nurse take on. And so that's my aim, uh, to create this analysis, uh, to do it with just a, a small handful of algorithms that are free and publicly available, but then to have this tool where nursing leaders can continue to evaluate their algorithms, see if there's additional commonalities in the algorithms they've created within their organizations or that which they have purchased, um, and then to continue to validate the data I'll come up with an initial set of recommendations, standard data elements that, that were observed across the algorithms. Three, it's not very many, uh, but it's a starting point. And again, what I want to produce as well is that tool so that uh, people can continue to evaluate the data and, and validate these recommendations. So a lot of data on this slide, it looks like I'm about up with my five minutes of madness, but uh, have a wonderful uh, Friday. I miss you, but I'll see you in June at graduation. Take care.